Elon Musk is back to being the richest man on the planet, even after spending 44 billion to buy Twitter, an app, a computer app. I heard, I just got that news today, that within a few hours, he made $1.6 trillion. Within a few hours, $1.6 trillion. He doesn't pray, he doesn't pay tithes, he doesn't give offering, he's not born again, he doesn't believe in your Christ. One, none of your prosperity pastors can even smell it. $1.6 trillion within hours. Not weeks, not months, not a year. Within a few hours, $1.6 trillion. He doesn't know your Christ. And then you say, I'm coming to church to make money. You'll be, you'll be as broke as broke. Because church is not where we make money. Church is where we know Christ. We make money in the market. We make money in the profits. We make money in business places. Am I talking to somebody here? Wake up and pay attention. Don't die poor. We come to church to know Christ. We come to church to grow in the knowledge of Christ. We come to church for eternal realities. We come to church for eternal value. Then God has given us a level playing ground on earth. We are all of us enter. Christians, Muslims, pagans, non-believers, atheists, we all meet in that field to transact business. And in that place, there's knowledge you acquire and it's not in church you acquire it. That's why you went to university to read business, to read economics, to read accounting. Hey! And if those ones are no more working, you develop a skill in infotech or you develop a skill in any of the latest things that is working worldwide. You go there on computer, make money. Then you come back here, you keep the money aside, you carry your Bible and your paper, let's learn Christ. When we finish learning Christ, we go out. We keep Bible and paper first to one side, we engage our skill to make money. Then when we come here, we, we keep money aside. We face Christ. Say, I hear, I hear you. Having the best of two worlds. <laughs> Having the best of how many worlds? Two worlds. In Christ, you are best. In the secular, you are best. Not because Christ helped you, but because you develop the skills you need to compete favorably. And you went in there as a shrewd businessman. Made your money well without emotions. Then you came back to Christ and woke up your emotions to enjoy Christ. <laughs> Leave that in. I'm about to close this service. A word is enough for a wise man. I'm teaching good? Satolaba, Sikaladaba, leave that in. Paul prayed that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know the hope of your calling, not that you may know the latest business in London, that, <laughs> that you may know the riches of your inheritance, that you may know the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his right hand that you may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful unto every good work, be strengthened with might by the spirit in the inner man, that Christ dwells in your heart by faith, that you be rooted and grounded in the love of God that you may be filled with all oh, the fullness of God that's why we come to church and a man's spirit shall sustain his infirmity when we feed you and your spirit is charged your spirit sustains your body and when the devil misbehaves you put him where he belongs you live in victory all the days of your life and while you're winning supernaturally you engage your natural skills you are making money you're winning in the spirit <laughs> The devil says, hey, you tell him, shut up, out. You go to the marketplace and money is trying to be difficult. You apply skill, money, come here. You are, you are, you are, you are enjoying the best of two worlds. Yeah. 